it's a beautiful morning here in the Italian Alps. We made it to Val di Funes this morning and we are really enjoying this beautiful mountain range which is called the Audel Group. So we came to Santa Maddalena, this beautiful town, and we actually hiked up a very short distance to the Santa Maddalena church. You can't park at the church, but there are a ton of parking spots that you can leave your car at while making yourself up the trail. And we'll actually link the address that we typed in Google Maps right here. And we're just gonna enjoy continuing on the trail, listening to the cowbells, and enjoying this crisp morning on our own here in Val di Funes. So after walking up to the photo viewpoint, you guys can see behind me, the conditions took a turn for the worse. And right now it is extremely hazy. So I'm hoping to come back a little bit later today or a different day entirely. But right now we're gonna head over to the second church in the Val de Funes area. And hopefully we get to come back here sooner rather than later. We walk down all the way back to the car and right around then, the sky opened up revealing an incredible scenery. So we just wasted about 50 minutes of walking. to St. John and Renui. This spot is only about three minutes drive from the parking spot that we went to for Santa Madalena. And you actually get to this viewing platform, just a minute walk from the parking spot to get some photos and view the church. You can also pay four euros to get into the church. We're just gonna enjoy the view from here. We're really glad that the sky cleared up because now you can see the mountain peaks in auto group and we're just gonna enjoy it. Okay, we're at Paso Sella. This spot is where you can hop onto the cable car, the famous cable car that's like a coffin for two people, all the way up to the base of Sasolungo. And the cable car is closed. How many days was it? Has it been since it? Only four days. So we missed it by four days. I guess that's the downside of coming in October. But the plus side is, is that you pretty much have the entire area to yourself. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just walk around really get different vantage points of this beautiful mountain range and enjoy the view because <laughs> that's what we can do today. You can also hike if you wanted to, but that's a whole day experience. Good morning guys, Lauren and I finally made it to one of our top destinations that we really wanted to come to here in the Dolomites and that is Ceceda. Right now we are just lining up waiting for the cable car. The price is about 35 euros round trip per person. So do understand it is going to be a bit of a cost but wait till you guys see the views from the top. It's just going to blow your mind. coming in <laughs> we're on the gondola now and because it's already October it's low season and the cable cars actually stopped running in two days so we just made it the great thing about that is that there's barely anybody here we didn't even wait to get tickets there's maybe just another group down there waiting and now we are very very excited to see the Sacheta Ridgeline with our own eyes I mean it's famous for a reason
we actually rode two gondolas. There was the first one that Jason and I got on on our own. It comes one after the other very frequently. And then there's a second one that you take all the way up to the ridge line. And that one comes every 15 minutes. You get on as a big group and it's like a big bus. It takes you all the way up to the ridge line. You can also do, if you don't want to take the gondola, you can actually hike all the way up. And I think Jason and I might try to do that the next time that we're in the Dolomites. Even though Cicada cost us 70 euros, the sweeping valley views that you get here are just so unbelievable. And of course, the reason why almost everybody wants to come over here is because of this. This ridge right over here just looks unbelievable. And I can't wait to show you guys the photos that we got here. to the Sacheta Ridgeline. It's definitely not a walk in the park. There are different trails that are uphill and downhill, especially as you walk on the ridgeline. But with that said, this place is probably the highlight of our entire Dolomites trip. There's more to come, so maybe things will take us by surprise, but there's nothing really in our minds that can beat the view of the ridgeline, the immense valley with these little huts here with the meadows and all the different ranges that we see here in the Dolomites, like the Sassalungo range. Oh man, we're so happy to be here. Yes, it was 70 euros, but so worth it. We just spent the last half an hour driving through probably the worst road that we've driven on since coming to the Dolomites. And the reason why is it's quite literally two-way traffic on a single lane road with these little pullouts sporadically held throughout the uh, trail. But now the problem with that is that there's a ton of turns and mountainous winding roads. Yeah. So you can't actually see when the car's coming for you to go into the pullout. So there's so many times you would actually have to just, just have to back up or the other person would, and then one of you guys would go at a single time. Yeah, so we're super glad that we finally made it to this trailhead. And what we're gonna see today is something we've never seen before near a town called Rinon, and what they are is these earth pyramids, or Erfiramiren in Longomoso. 